Hey guys, just like we promised, we we're going to share some of our recipes and cooking with you for our keto. Now, the weather outside is getting nicer and we have the Blackstone Grill. So we are getting some chicken prepared and some vegetables. And we're going to go outside on the hibachi and cook it all up and have a wonderful dinner. Right, Stace? Absolutely. I'm very excited. And one of the things that we wanted to feature in this video is a brand new knife by Nakano. What kind of knife is it, Stace? Uh, we're going to cube up some chicken with it and tell us what you think of this knife, Stace. Cuts like butter. Like butter? Like butter. Oh, that actually looks like it cuts pretty well. It does very nice. So be careful because this thing is sharp. These are handmade Japanese knives and there is a link and a discount code in our video that we'll put in the description for you if you want to check that out. Um, seems like this might be a new favorite for you, huh, Stace? <laughs> My knife, not yours. Yeah, it's your knife. I, <laughs> I hurt myself with a steak knife, so I'm not the knife person. No effort whatsoever. No effort. Cutting through with this knife. Gonna have some cubed up chicken and some red pepper and orange pepper and yellow pepper. Yeah, I'm sorry, I already cut all that before and, we came and out here. Some, uh, <laughs> Diced up carrots, and what else do we got over there? Onion. We got uh, green tail onions. Green onion, yeah. So this is going to be a really nice dinner. Now normally what we would do as well is add a little bit of rice in for the girls. Um, they both don't do keto and they want rice. So sometimes I'll have a little bowl of rice for them to add to it. But neither of them are home when eating with us today, so it's going to be just taste now. Yes, got to get the mushrooms out. I haven't gotten those yeah, out Yeah, we got yet. mushrooms out. They're already sliced too, though, so... We're just going to add those I in on those. for some extra flavorings. I'll probably use a little teriyaki, a little bit of sesame and soy, stuff like that. Okay, give it a little flavor. Salt and pepper. Nothing crazy. So I think, boy, that, that's cut pretty well. This is um, something Stacy likes to do, though. Get everything ready and have all the meal prep stuff. So when we go out to the grill, it's just more throw it on and cook it up quick. So she's getting it done pretty good here. Yeah. Nothing more important than cutting with a sharp knife. You're making some big chunks, too. I was going to say, that one was big. Well, I know you like some of the bigger well, chunks. Well, I do. I, I do. like the smaller chunks, but I try to compromise. No, keeping them kind of together is, is a good thing because then that helps with uh, cooking. Yes. You know, some don't undercook or overcook because they're all pretty reasonable sized. Yeah. Pretty nice. But when and you a few use minutes. a dull knife, you run the risk of cutting yourself because oh. you're applying more pressure. Yeah, what I'm usually using is just a steak knife. And I don't know what kind of knives we have. We have KitchenAid knives. <laughs> and it's a steak knife, and it's rusty because it's been through the disher, dishwasher 9,000 times. This you cannot dishwash. Correct. You have to hand wash these, right? Yes. Yeah. This is going to be a yummy dinner. Real good for you, too. I always like to make easy. extra. I'm doing four chicken breasts right now. Um, well, that, that way I can prep it for lunch tomorrow. Take it for work. You're right. Exactly. This woman is a cotton fool with this knife. I think I'm going to have to keep my distance, though. <laughs> so they, today was a special day at work for Stace. They got to wear sports stuff. So yes. she's sporting her Michigan stuff today. Go Blue. We're raising money for the Children's Miracle Network. Oh, okay. When I left, we were at about $1,500 just for the day today. That's a good day. So that's a great thing. All proceeds go to the Children's Beaumont Hospital downtown. Okay. That's a good deal. Yeah. So after we get this all chopped up, we're going to head out there and fire up the Blackstone, get it all warmed up. And put some oil on it and do all this diced chicken and these vegetables. And have a wonderful meal with lots of good leftovers that Stacey will take for lunch. Mm -hmm. And later, the girls, will, the girls will be home later and then they'll probably want to add rice and other stuff to it too. Yeah. But it might be nice and do some rice on the grill for them. Get it ready for the fridge form. Yeah. Because they're probably not going to be home for it to be fresh. No. But... They can but always they warm it up. That. Throw it in a pan, warm it up. So what's your uh, overall on this knife? I love the knife. Well, the knife is pretty cool, huh? It's my knife. Yes, now. it is. Now it's going to have to be hand washed. So. It's okay. 
doing a good job on that. They look good. Yeah. It does look like it's cutting well. It does cut very nicely, very smooth. So we'll see you out at the grill in just a minute. Yeah. Okay. So I came out and I started up the grill, which is the Blackstone. We bought the hibachi style 36 inch Blackstone grill. Stacy putting a little oil out. We're going to get this chicken and stuff cooked up mm -hmm. and vegetables. This one's for us now. We're doing the, well, all the chicken, but uh, the girls will get. Their girls will get like rice and stuff with theirs too, but for us, mostly the peppers and the chicken, and for me, mushrooms and onions. And we're gonna have salt and pepper them. Actually, really loving this grill. It's been so much nicer than the regular and you can do so much more on it. The salt and pepper these, real good. I'm gonna flip sides of this face. Right. Do some salt and pepper on the veggies. The real reason Bill loves the Blackstone griddle is because I will cook. And I normally don't cook on the, on the uh, outside. Yeah, when we had the regular grill, it was usually me. But she actually enjoys doing this. She actually got two of the little handles so she can act Here's like, why. Act like she works at the official. Right. She wants to act like she works at Benny Hanna or something. <laughs> yeah, so we'll cook this chicken up, we'll cook up these veggies, little onion, mushroom, green pepper, red pepper. It's gonna be yummy. And the really nice part is I'll wipe the grill down real quick and everything will be fine. And I'll throw a bowl of rice out here for the girls later. And then we'll mix in some of this food with the rice, and they'll love it too. For them, they want they want onion and rice and egg, but we're just keeping it clean with the basic foods here for Stacey and I. <laughs> now I have some of the peppers not cooked because I don't like mine cooked. I like them raw. Uh -huh. So I'll just eat those on the side, but Bill likes his. Yeah, I like it all mixed up, grilled. cooked up. The way I've done this grill is the first three I turned up, so they're about three and a quarter, 350. And that side I put down to like 275, just to kind of take it easy on the veggies. What you mixing in there? Just a little bit of soy sauce. A little soy, huh? Yeah. Some flavor. It's really nice now that the weather's gotten better and we can come out here and use the grill real quick. So fun. Mm -hmm. Once the smells start hitting the neighborhood, suddenly people will walk by. Watch up to you. <laughs> They'll smell it all. They'll smell it. This would be good too if we get like like recently Stace got me some steak, so if I could get up, I could do steak like the chicken here. And then we're going to sit down tonight and have a wonderful little meal with this. Stacy so will have some leftovers. And then I'll come out and do real quick five, ten minutes of rice for the girls. And then they'll be happy too. And, you know, a little bit of meal planning and have it all set for all of us to eat and enjoy our, our meal. Yeah. So we're pretty close, aren't we, Stace? We are. Yeah, your chicken's almost done. So we'll get this on a plate and we'll be eating in a few minutes. Oh, you almost lost the piece. I almost lost the piece. You almost down. lost it. Now I gotta give it a hard time. Looking great. Stacy doesn't need to do that that whole uh, Benny Hanna become a chef thing, right? Because you're learning at home. I'm learning at home. You're learning. You're all Michigan out today. I am. Washed my car the other day, but. Yeah. Dirt roads. Dirt roads. Look at Stacy's car. It's all full of dirt again. <laughs> yeah. Dirt roads. Fast as you wash it. Well, thank you, Stace, for cooking this all up. Yeah. You've done an amazing job. Really quick. 
really easy. Loving the Blackstone. Couldn't do this with the regular grill. <laughs> no. And I used to hate all the flare-ups. We did a lot of flare-ups, so we'd make burgers, and then everything would start burning, and all the hot dogs would burn. No matter how high or low I put it, first drop of grease on the bottom, it would flare up. This is so nice. Don't get any flare-ups, just get that nice hot surface. Super easy to clean up at the end, too. We should have made a video last night. We actually did smash burgers. Out yes, on we the did. Blackstone. On the black zone here, yep. Smash burgers are a hit. The girls all love them. I prefer a little thicker burger, but what I do is I do a smash burger and then I don't smash it fully. I just press it. <laughs> and then I'm just eating a hamburger. The girls like them nice and thin, though. Good job, Stace. Look at you. I know. I'm all official. All yummy. Oh, look at the mushrooms. Oh, look at the peppers. Love it, love it, love it. All right, guys. We're going to be sitting down eating a few, and we'll show you a little bit of what they look like on the plate. We were doing so good, and then we got a text. Julia's on her way home, and Lauren was out with a friend, but we'll be home soon. So, Stacy started up the rice for them. She's going to have bunch of rice made up here, fried rice on the black stone, and we'll just put that in a separate container for them. A little bit of soy and teriyaki in that for them, salt and pepper, and some veggies, a little bit of carrots and onion. But this is, uh, what, three, four minutes now, Stacey? Yeah. yeah. I remember we used to eat all this rice. Yeah. The girls still love it. This way too, if you're doing keto and you're wanting to make something for yourself and then make something for the family if they're not doing keto, super, super simple. Just make up a little bit for yourself and then make up a little extra on the sides. We weren't even gonna do the rice. And then uh, the girls have basically got a hold of us and they're on their way home. So yeah. So now it's time to do the rice so they can eat with us. You're doing good, Stacy. What? You're a good chopper. <laughs> Got the blue jeans. <laughs> good chopper, chopper. I'm looking at your little blue outfit here, so uh, you remind me of the blue jeans. I love my husband. Everybody know what that shows from? The King of Cars. They have the blue jeans. Yeah. The King of Cars, baby. Blue jeans. Blue jeans is my favorite. Got the blue jeans. The Kamikini by my car. I think they're out in Vegas. I wonder if they're still around. The TV show I did a long time ago. All right, well, now we're going to go in and plate stuff for us and for the girls, and then uh, we'll show you how she's mixing in all the veggies, and uh, we'll show you what it looks like on the plate, and we're going to have a wonderful dinner and a lot of leftovers. Oh, yummy. There's Bill's dinner. Got a bunch of our veggies and some mushrooms and some cubed up chicken. A little bit of salt, pepper, teriyaki on it and soy. And it's going to be wonderful. 